cool. So look, we've got our E major chord, which is like our A minor shape, but on the third, fourth, and fifth string. And we can hit all those strings, but you want to go for a bit more of the, the fatter string, six, five, four, kind of big power chord, you know? Then to the D chord. With this one, make sure the fingers are close to the forward fret. And I just want to strum four, three, and two. So it doesn't really matter about this top string note because we don't really want to hear from him. He's too pretty. It's not a pretty song, right? We want something a bit darker than that, yeah? So, so that's about the right hand. You've got to strum four, three, and two. Okay. So just, you can hear that. You want to go for that sound. Really sort of tight little kind of just D chord sound, nothing extra, nothing, yeah, you know, and clear too, not like, you know, one note buzzing or something. Right? And then to the A chord, flattening out that finger. Now, the only notes I need to pick up over here are really four and three. Right, my finger's covering the whole fret, but I'm only strumming five, four, and three. Okay, this is, the, this is a different type of guitar playing. It's a little bit more associated, well, it's very much a part of like rock and roll, classic rock power chord guitar playing from ACDC to the Rolling Stones, Nirvana, and, you know, Foo Fighters, all that stuff. It's very much about just like this, that kind of sound. It's not like a nice kind of, you know? Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're going for. Down stroke, down, up, down. Down, up, down, yeah? And to release the chord, the chord so that it's not too long or, or, res, or, or sort of sustaining for too long, you can just lift your fingers off a little bit. You can stop the, the length of it by going, yeah, I'm using this hand as well to mute a little bit. Yeah? So it's quite clean. It's like, ba, 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 da. It's kind of robotic, ba, ba, da, you know? And then, then there's a little break and then we play our little run here, which is, Third fret open, third fret open, top string, second string. Just get used to that first. And that's the phrasing. And then I just hit the third string on the second fret and I just bend that a little bit and then try to flick it off. If you can't flick it off, you can just hit the open string, pick the open string straight back to your E chord because that's how it loops around again right so just watch two as much as you can and then we'll, we'll pick it up